Hi there, and thanks for watching. This video covers getting started by creating a new account in ACH Universal, integrating with QuickBooks Online, and creating an ACH or EFT file. Our sample account is configured for testing with Air Tutorial, so you'll need to start by creating your own new account. To create your own account, select File, New Account. Create is the default option. We'll name the account Checking. When finished, you'll be switched to your new account. From the home page, select QuickBooks Online Integration window. Select OK to let ACH Universal copy your files to your My Documents folder. ACH Universal will exit and restart, and your new account will open automatically. Now when you select the icon, the QuickBooks Online Integration window will be displayed. Use the Connect to QuickBooks button to connect to your QuickBooks account. If prompted, log in to QuickBooks. If you have more than one company, you can select it here. The authorization screen confirms you are connected. ACH Universal is now connected to QuickBooks Online and will display the list of bank accounts from the QuickBooks Online chart of accounts. I'll select the Checking Main account and Save, and the Transactions tab will open. When I select View Transactions, two things will happen. Current transactions will be displayed and profiles will be created for any customer, employee, or vendor that doesn't already have one. Let's look at a profile. I'll select Bayshore Water and Edit. I can enter the bank account number, an ABA routing number, and any other information needed, and select Save. This information will be available for future transactions. When we view transactions now, we can see the Bayshore Water transactions are now available to be included in an ACH or EFT transmission file. Note the totals at the bottom of the screen. As a best practice, always confirm your totals in the number of records. I select Send Transactions to ACH Universal to create the file. I'm then prompted to complete the ACH file setup. I select Yes. If you haven't received this information from your bank, don't worry. You can still create a test file for your internal use. While this screen is for our ACH users in the U.S., our Canadian users should opt for the Canadian setup and watch our Canadian setup video. Enter your bank's ABA routing number, your bank's name, your company ID, this is assigned to you by your bank, but it is most often a 1 followed by your federal ID number, your company name, and save. Now, let's create the file. The name and location of the transmission file appears on the prompt. This is the file you'll transmit to the bank. Although your path and file name will be different, your transmission file can always be found in this location. Let's take a look at the file. Keep in mind, the file format you see here may look different from your format. Notice all of the Bayshore Water transactions are here. Congratulations! You've created your first account, connected to QuickBooks Online, and created a test file. Please watch the next video covering common and advanced tasks. 